everybody welcome back to the channel it is ryan from movies with ryan and it is november so it is criterion month so what other way to start this month off other than show off my whole criterion collection now if you've seen last year's thumbnail it's definitely a little bit smaller than the thumbnail for this video i've probably tripled my criterion collection since last year and we're going to go through there we're going to take a look at them we're going to go in spine order see what all i got in my collection so, one other thing, Criterion Sale, Barnes & Nobles, where are you at? November 1st came along, no sale. Apparently you're not starting until Friday the 4th and only running until the 28th of the month? What is up with that? So, that's going to deter my Criterion off for a little bit for the month, but next week we'll probably just have a standard unboxing. Hopefully the week after that we will have some hunting out in Barnes & Nobles for titles and hopefully an unboxing from Barnes & Nobles with some other titles at the end of the month. But we'll see how it goes. So let's get into it. Let's get into these massive stacks. Let's go in spine order, see what I got. Starting this off, this does not have a spine number on it, but it is. The World of Wong Kar Wai box set with everything in it. I actually forgot what movies are in here. I might want to open it up because it's, uh, it's a little tricky. But I scored this last Black Friday for 20 bucks. Couldn't believe it. I still need to break into it. Have not watched anything out of it yet. Next, another thing that does not have any spine number. Um, but it is the Eclipse series number 38. Masaki. Kobayashi against the system. So this is some of his post-war movies. Um, the Thick Walled Room, I Will Buy You, Black River, and The Inheritance. So again, some post-war Kobayashi um, DVDs. I got this for dirt cheap, I think $5.99 maybe from Mega Replay. Can't beat it. Still need to crack into it. Spine number two. I don't know what spine number one is. Um, spine number two. Seven Samurai, I guess I could turn around the right way. Kurosawa, really enjoy it, even though it is like three hours long. Gotta love it. Spines number 14, 15, and 16, the Samurai Trilogy. Samurai Musashi Miyamoto, Samurai 2, Duel at Ichi Doji Temple, and Samurai 3, Duel at Ganryu Island. Spine number 24, another Kurosawa, High and Low. You'll start to see a little theme within my movies. I have not watched High and Low yet. I picked it up this summer sale. I had planned on watching it. I have not watched it yet. Spine number 39, Tokyo Drifter. A fun little uh, 60s crime noir from Tokyo. Pretty good movie. Spine number 45, Taste of Cherry. I bought this this past summer sale. I watched it. Brilliant movie about a man wanting to end his life and finding somebody to help him bury himself. Very moving. Makes you really think about life. Highly recommend that one. Spine number 47. Insomnia. I've owned this one for a while. I've seen the American remake. I've yet to watch this version yet. I've heard this version is really, really good though. Spine number 51. This is a recent upgrade. I just picked it up. Brazil. Now, I've seen Brazil before, but it's been a long time. Can't wait to watch the Criterion one because I'm sure it's got a bunch more special features. Spine number 52 and 53. Yojimbo and Sanjuro from Kurosawa. A little box set. Again, still haven't watched it. Spine number 65. Wes Anderson, Rushmore. This is probably my third or fourth favorite uh, Wes Anderson movie. Spine number 84, some Yazajiro Uzu. Ozu. Excuse me. Good morning. Man, I drank some water before this, so I've got the burps now. Either way, good morning. Good movie. Uh, it's about two kids that go on the silent treatment to their parents to try to get a TV in post-war uh, Japan. Number 90. Still have not watched this yet. Uh, another film by Kobayashi. Quite on. Really need to watch this because uh, I believe this is a, yeah, ghost stories. 
So I really need to watch this soon. I really need to watch a lot of my movies soon. Spine number 97. This is also a recent upgrade. Do the right thing. Can't wait to check this one out. I'm sure they've done Spike Lee right with all the bonus features on that. 116. The Hidden Fortress. Another Kurosawa. This supposedly uh, inspired Star Wars. Number 138. Again, Kurosawa. Rashomon. Very, very good movie. Actually, I don't think there's been a Kurosawa that I've been disappointed in. Number 157, my second favorite Wes Anderson movie, The Royal Tenenbaums. Love this movie. A new recent pickup, spine number 166, Jim Jarmusch, Down by Law. Still need to check it out. 190, probably my top four, top five Kurosawa's, Throne of Blood. Very good movie. Toshiro Misfoon in this movie is just a badass. But I highly recommend it. Throne of Blood. 221. Probably my favorite Kurosawa, Akiru. Fantastic, fantastic movie. And I've heard um, High and Low is even better than this, so I need to check that out. But as of right now, Akiru, my favorite Kurosawa. 226. Onibaba. This is by Kaneto Shindo. I still have not watched this yet. I know this had a foreign release and then it's had an American release. and it's supposed to be a good movie. I have yet to check it out. Spine number 248. This just recently got a 4K release. Video drone. Yeah. That's all I say about that. It's good. Again. Kurosawa. Spine number 267. Kagemusha. Now, this is about the um, Mountain Samurai. It's a pretty good movie. It's been a long time since I've watched it. I need to rewatch it sometime soon. Rounding out the first stack, spine number 277, River Phoenix, Keanu Reeves, Gus Van Zandt. My Own Private Idaho. There we go. I couldn't get it up. So this is the DVD version. I do have a couple of DVDs in my collection. That's okay. They're criterion. Next, just watched this recently. Um, it had been a long time since I watched it, but I wanted to rewatch it for something that's coming up. That is Kihachi Akamoto's Sword of Doom. Very, very, very good movie. Very good samurai movie. A lot of action. It's very good. Spine number 300. Wes Anderson, Life Aquatic. Finally watched this for the first time recently. It didn't hit with me. 302. Harikari. Now, another Kobayashi. I have not watched this yet, but I have seen Takashi Miike's remake. And if I remember correctly, it's basically a shot-for-shot -shot remake. So I've basically seen this, but I do need to watch this at some point. Spine number 309, Ugetsu. Still haven't watched it. Uh, by It's a film by Mizuguchi. Again, if you haven't seen the theme yet, Japanese, Asian, really like it. Let's go to America. Uh, spine number 336, Dazed and Confused. I love this packaging. It's one of my favorite packagings. Good movie. Spine number 380. Know nothing about this. 1948, The Naked City. DVD. I think I got this for a dollar at a vendor mall. Figured, what the heck? It's Criterion. Pick it up for a buck. Spine number 384. This was one I picked up over the summer sale. Still have not watched it yet. Vengeance is Mine by uh, Shohai Imamura. I'm doing better on pronouncing their names, if you haven't noticed. Next, spine number 386, another Mizoguchi that's supposed to be really good. I have yet to watch it. I picked this up at the last sale, too. Uh, Sancho, Sancho the Bailiff. Can't wait to check that out. Recent pickup I got from Mega Replay for fairly cheap. Sorry, the case looks smoke damaged, but it's not. It's just the yellow on the background. Either way, spine number 401, 
Night on Earth. Uh, Jim Jarmusch, uh, apparently about a taxi driver driving around telling stories to different people. It's got Wayne on Rider in it. Can't wait to watch that. 426, a film by Ang Lee. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. A couple other movies. The Ice Storm. Very, very, very good movie. Um, it's got Tobey Maguire in it, Christina Ricci, Elijah Wood, Katie Holmes, so Gorney Weaver, Weaver and Kevin Klein. It's uh, basically about some family dynamics over at a uh, Thanksgiving weekend. Great movie. If you've never seen it, highly recommend it. Next, a movie I picked up solely for the uh, packaging because it just it is an eye catcher. I have yet to watch it though. Uh, Spy number 432, a film by Paul Schrader, and that is four chapters. Uh, Mishima, Mishima, a life in four chapters. Still haven't watched it yet. It's supposed to be really good, though. Next, another one that I just picked up recently for Dirt Cheap from my Mega Replay, Spy number 437, Vampire. This is from 1932. Um, I think this became one of my oldest uh, movies I own. Still haven't watched it yet, though. Need to. Spy number 450, probably my third or fourth favorite, Wes Anderson. Bottle Rocket. Owen and um, Luke Wilson. Just a great start, starter movie from Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson, he hadn't got his style yet. Just a, just a low-key funny movie. Another, Kurosawa. This is on DVD. 465. Dodes Kaden. I know nothing about it. I haven't watched it, but that cover is freaky looking um by turns tragic and transcendent kurosawa's film follows a daily lives of a group of people barely scraping by in a slum on the outskirts of tokyo so there you go i think that's the only way you can get that too is on dvd next 476 curious case of benjamin button with slip and it's in a clear box i put it in a clear box I don't know. I don't know, folks. Spy number 501. Um, still have not picked this up. I don't or picked this up. Watched it. I don't know if I got this over the summer sale or their flash sale. But um, Paris, Texas. It's supposed to be a really good movie. Just never watched it. A very sad movie. Um, if you want to be just in a sad mood after watching a movie, highly recommend this one from 1937. Spy number 505. Make a way for tomorrow. It's basically family dynamics about elderly uh, elderly couple growing old and their kids and what happens to them. And it's it's just it's a sad movie. Really, really well done. A movie by Terrence Malick, spine number five thirty six. One of my favorite war movies, The Thin Red Line. And apparently, a lot of people hate this movie. I'm sorry, I like it. I think it's better than Save It Private and Ryan. Minus the beginning of Save It Private Ryan. My problem with Private Ryan is opening. Fantastic. After that, they just keep making one stupid decision after another and get themselves killed. Then Red Line, I like it. 539 for Spooky Month. Love this movie. If you want to watch some weird-ass Japanese horror house or hasu, depending on how you want to say it, highly recommend it. It's a crazy trip. Um, a movie that I watched and I did not care for the first time. It was a Wes Anderson movie. I rewatched it about 10 years later as a more grown-up adult, more movie connoisseur, and I really, really enjoyed this movie. And that is Spine Number 540, The Darjeeling Limited. Very good Wes Anderson movie. Brian De Palma, 562, Blowout, just got a 4K, I've heard the 4K looks fantastic, I'm going to stick with the Blu-ray because I already own it, very good movie, if you've never seen Blowout, highly recommend it, a uh, movie I picked up uh, earlier this year from the Mega Replay over in Owensboro, I believe, it's by number 564, Pale Flower, you have to watch it. Stanley Kubrick movie. I think I picked this up at the same time. 576. The Killing. I know nothing about it. Um, I don't know if this was one of his first movies or not, but I still need to check that out. 
Um, oh, I've never noticed that before. There's a ghost on the cover. Spine number 584. Kuro Neko. Kuro She like disappears in there. It's cool. She's like a ghost. Basically a ghost story. Um, that's all I know about it. I have not watched it yet. Now, one thing I said I wanted to do this past summer so was branch out of Asia and start picking up other stuff. I picked up Taste of Cherry and a few other things. This was the one big purchase. I have not watched it yet, though. That is spine number 587. I guess it's 587 on the box and 588, 89, and 90. It's the uh, Three Colors Trilogy, Red, White, and Blue by Krzysztof Kalowski. Still need to check it out. I've heard that's like one of the better trilogies. 596, Three Outlaw Samurai. Um, good movie. Um, basically, Three Outlaw Samurai come together to help a little town. It's kind of like Seven Samurai, only Three Samurai. Um, a movie I just picked up again uh, from Mega Replay recently for Dirt Cheap, uh, Spy Number 601. It's a Russian movie. Letter never sent. Looks really good. I need to watch it. 611, Spike Jones, being John Malkovich. If you've never seen this movie, it's a head trip. Great watch. Highly recommend it. Spy number 616. Again, summer cell pickup. Shallow Grave, Spike Jones. Not Spike Jones, Danny Boyle. I just said Spike Jones. Um, his first movie, Ewan McGregor's first performance, excellent movie. Highly recommend this movie. This is my, there we go. My, uh, okay, I don't know, my camera was doing something weird. Okay, right, let's move over to the next one. Uh, spy number 645, The Ballad of Nariyama. Just recently watched this. Great movie. It's about, um, Nariyama's a mountain. Uh, when the elders get to a certain age, they climb to the top of it to pass away. The set dynamics on this was awesome. I highly recommend this movie. 653, something I picked up out of the summer uh, sale. It, it was only $15. It's one of the cheaper Blu rays because there's like no special features on here. And that is Gate of Hell. I've not watched it yet. 654, Repo Man. I did just watch this recently. I haven't watched it since it first came out. Meh. Spine number 666. Guillermo del Toro, The Devil's Backbone. Still need to watch it. I need to pick up Kronos, too, so hopefully I can get that this sell. Next, one of my favorite box sets, uh, 679. And that is Zatoichi, The Complete Series. Still need to break into this and watch it. Oh, one second, folks. I'm going to try something here. All right, we're back. Uh, my phone was just doing something weird. Uh, so Zatoichi. Moving on, 681, a very, very good movie, I think. One of my, not favorite movies, but I was very impressed with it. Noah Baumbach, spy number 681. Francis Ha, Greta Gerwig, it's got Adam Driver in it. Just a great movie. Spy number 700, Wes Anderson, stop motion. Fantastic Mr. Fox, very good. That and Isle of Dogs, very good movies. Spy number 705, a movie by Lars von Trier. I picked this up over the summer. I have not watched it yet, but it's Breaking the Waves. It's supposed to be a really good movie. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, spy number 712, I've seen this movie as a kid. I have not watched it as an adult. Cronenberg, Scanners. I did say spy number 712. Got to get those spines out. If I don't say the spines, I'm not snobbish enough. I shouldn't be owning Criterion. Spy number 725. David Lynch, Eraserhead. It's David Lynch. That's all I'm going to say about that. Spy number 753. A very good documentary. The Thin Blue Line. If you haven't watched it, watch it at least once. 764, a Terry Gilliam movie. I have not watched this yet. The Fisher King. And I don't think I've ever seen it. But I'm not totally, totally for sure. 
Another De Palma film I just picked up recently, Spy Number 770, Dress to Kill. Again, need to watch it. 776, um, a very good Wes Anderson movie, Moonrise Kingdom. Still need to, uh, oh, I've, I've watched this, I don't know what I'm saying, I still need to check it out. I've seen it. I need to rank my Wes Anderson movies at some time. 779, David Lynch's. Mulholland Drive. If you want to get a headache, watch that movie trying to figure it out. It's a weird one. All right, the inspiration for Kill Bill, spine number 790 and 91, The Complete Lady Snowblood. Very good series. Um, woman is wronged, killed, or she dies during birth in prison, and her daughter goes on a rampage when she grows up to kill everybody. It's a good movie. Probably my favorite Coen Brothers movie, Spy Number 794. I just upgraded this recently to the Criterion. Inside Lou and Davis. Highly recommend this movie. Um, the music is in here is great. Oscar Isaacs gives a great performance. The supporting cast is fantastic. Love that movie. Next, Spy Number 821, Dr. Strangelove or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. There you go. Um, I seen that as a kid. I haven't watched it as an adult. I need to revisit it. Spy number 822, a beautiful movie and probably one of my favorite Kristen Stewart performances. Clouds of Sils Maria. Highly recommend it. It's a beautiful movie. King Hugh, Spy number 825, A Touch of Zen. So this is a follow-up to Dragon End, I believe. The first Coen Brothers movie, 834, Blood Simple. Very good movie. If you've never seen Blood Simple, highly recommend it. Rounding out this stack, spy number 841. I've seen chunks of this movies, these movies, but I've never seen the whole thing all the way through. I need to do it. Lone Wolf and Cub. Very, very good samurai thing. Uh, basically, a dude's pushing a baby cart around, and he's got to protect the baby. Spy number 842, Kira Kurosawa's. Dreams. Good movie. It's a little weird. It's a little outside the box for Kurosawa, but it's good. Spy number 843. Punch Drunk Love. Love this movie. Um, Paul Thomas Anderson. Adam Sandler is great in it. Spy number 845. Another Noah Baumbach movie. The Squid and the Well. Very good movie. Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, Jeff Daniels. Good, just coming of age movie. Highly recommend it. It's probably one of my favorite trilogies in the whole Criterion Collection. It's by number 856, the Before Trilogy. Just a beautiful piece of art. Richard Linkletter, fantastic. Julie Delpy and Ethan Hawke, great. It's by number 868, Tam Popo. It's about a woman in her noodle shop and how a man loves her and her food. Great movie. Spine number 872, Ghost World, Thor Birch, Scarlett Johansson, Steve Buscemi. Fantastic movie. Very good coming-of-age movie. If you've never seen this, highly recommend it. Okay, we're back. Uh, my camera keeps doing something weird. It looks like it's really, really dark. Um, it's not like timing out or anything, but it looks dark. I want to make sure it wasn't like recording dark. But we're good. Uh, Kubrick, 897. Why is this all messed up for? Boutiques, Blu-rays with Elliot Cohen loves this movie. Barry Lyndon. I still need to watch it because it's like 185 minutes long. Yeah. Spy number 909. This just got a 4K recently. Uh, 1968's Night of the Living Dead. A very important movie. A very good movie. Highly recommend it. Spy number 919. Dead Man. Uh, Jim Jarmusch, Johnny Depp. I've not watched it yet. I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. Spy number 920. Sofia Coppola, The Virgin Suicides. Fantastic movie. If you never watched that, it's a good movie. It's a heartbreaker. 937. Dragon Inn by King Hugh. 
This is accredited for a couple different um, cine cinematography techniques. Uh, the long pan or long shot, long pan. I don't know where they just follow one person along a long take. Not necessarily a long take. You got a person walking along and they dolly the camera along with it. Long shot, something like that. I don't know. It's by number 948. There's a dent in the second letter. The Princess Bride. I'll be honest. I finally watched it as an adult. Me. 988. I have not watched this yet. The Inland Sea. That is basically based on a book about exploring the Inland Sea of Japan. That's all I know about it. Spot number 1025, my favorite Wes Anderson movie, The Grand Budapest Hotel. This movie is fantastic. If you've never seen it, fun, quirky, Wes Anderson. The color palettes in this thing is beautiful. The acting is great. Very good movie. Spot number 1035, 1035. I picked this up for dirt cheap. I have not watched it yet. Come and see. I know it's a horrific war movie, and everybody should watch it, but I have not. Spy number 1036. I have not watched these in their entirety yet. I have checked them out to see how the upgrades were from Criterion, and they are great. But that is the Bruce Lee box set. Fantastic. I mean, you've got... Um, I don't remember what all is in here. The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, and Game of Death. And Enter the Dragon. What else? So five movies, yeah. But it's a fantastic box set. Like I said, the movies look great. One of my favorite movies from 2019, probably my favorite movie of 2019, it's my number 1038, Marriage Story. Love this movie. Makes me cry every time. 1051, David Lynch, The Elephant Man. Another great movie. If you want a good cry also, very heartbreaking. 1057, when this was announced, I was blown away because I did not think something like this would get a Criterion release because this was only on DVD forever. Forrest Whitaker, Ghost Dog, The Way of the Samurai. Fantastic movie. If you've never seen it, just a low-key, cool movie. 1058, I have not watched this yet because I just have not had the time to invest 209 minutes. 209 that's an hour and 40, 39 minutes. The Irishman. I know it's good. Just haven't watched it. 2018, spine number 1061. Very good documentary. Minding the Gap. Skateboarders up in the Midwest. Kind of takes a turn. Good movie. Highly recommend it. 1092 Throwdown. Love this movie. It's fun. The dude just wants to throw down. Another thing, I was surprised but not surprised got a Criterion release because this is an epic, epic series of films um, and they're very important to China and it's what catapulted Jet Li into stardom. But it is spine number 1103 Once Upon a Time in China series. Fantastic, fantastic movies. Down the last four. Spine number 1124, 1124. Chan is Missing. Great little noir style documentary thriller caper. Highly recommend it. It really uh, helps you understand Chinese American immigrants and stuff during the time, and it's just a fantastic little movie. A movie I loved. I was blown away, not blown away by this, but I was very, 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 very happy to watch this movie. Spine number 1132, the worst person in the world, and you want to hate her, but you end up loving her, but you still hate her. Very good movie. Done very well. 1133, 1133, Bong Joon-ho's Okja in 4K. Looks fantastic. So glad this finally got a release because it was a Netflix, I believe. Yeah, Netflix original. Great movie. Never seen it. Highly recommend it. And finally, 
The last Criterion I bought, I bought this at the last sale, spine number 1136, Raisuki Hamaguchi, Drive My Car. Uh, let's see, 2021. This will go down as probably one of my favorite movies of 2021. Fantastic, subtle movie, um, just dialogue driven. The different languages they use in this movie, the little story between uh, the main character and the driver, and just it's beautiful movie. If you've never seen it, highly recommend Drive My Car. So that's it. We got through here fairly quick. That is my whole Criterion collection, and as you see, it has definitely grown in one year. So hopefully for the rest of the month, I can pick up some more things on sale. Um, I know Sound of Metal came out. There was the Safety Brothers movie. There's been a cure from uh, Kobayashi Kasura or whatever his name is. Kurosawa. There we go. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I want to pick up and I need to pick it up and I can't wait. So hopefully this month is a great month and I can bring you some more Criterion content. But that's going to do it for this video. It's already gone long enough. As you see, my whole Criterion collection. So, like I always say, it's Ryan from Movies with Ryan. Is that? Oh. They were in the way. I was wondering what that was. Anyway, this is Ryan from Movies with Ryan. Happy November. Happy Criterion Month. Till I see you again. Have a fantastic night. Mm -hmm.